Hey YouTube, I'm Chris. This is my show, My Life is an Air Adventure. Um, I'm doing a kind of a unique uh, Funko Pop opening because I've already taken them out of the box. Uh, usually I wait and do that on the show. I haven't done that, uh, done an unboxing in a while. I've done a couple Mystery Mini unboxings and my uh, Marvel Collector Core box unboxing. But I haven't unboxed any Funkos in a while. Um, and I don't know why, just got kind of bored with it, but, um, I got a few new ones the other day, and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to unbox them, and I was going to do them all at once, and then I forgot and unboxed them on a whim last night before I went to bed. So, I'm going to show them to you, uh, out of the box, show you the box. If you can see over there in the corner, there's my, uh, Orphan Black wall art, which is basically someone else has taken their Funko Pops, taken pictures of them, and used the slogans from the show, um, I'm not your property, I'm not your experiment, I'm not your weapon, uh, I'm not your toy. Um, the, uh, the show actually uses the actress Tatiana Maslany to, uh, for those promotional art, and someone actually used their Funko Pops uh, in black and white, and then the letterings in color, which I really liked, and I told him I was stealing them and printing them up and hanging them on my wall. I need to frame them, but right now they're just taped to the wall. Um, so, obviously, that's what I'm doing today is my Funko Pops. First off, though, I did snag Castile. Um, Castiel. I always called him Castile, but it's Castiel. Um, the original release, Castiel, um, without the wings. Um, I, I wasn't a fan of the show. I was, a, I was aware of the show. I liked the first season, but I wasn't a, a, a watcher past the first season. Actually, I don't even think I watched all of the first season. Um, when this came out and when the Jensen and Jared came out. Um, so I didn't pick him up. And then I slowly picked up all of the other pops and hadn't picked him up and a buddy of mine posted a picture the other day online of stuff he wasn't selling and he had two or three Castiels and I'm like I really want one of those Castiels and luckily he gave them to me for a pretty decent price 15 16 bucks um which considering it goes for like 35 on Amazon um I was pretty happy about and uh because he knows I'm not going to flip him um so I took him out of the box and put him up on my shelf well the problem with that was he f f fills up the shelf, and I already had Charlie, who was the first uh, Supernatural pop I bought. Um, because I'm a fan of Felicia Day. And so I had to move her down a shelf. I'm like, well, I don't want her standing by herself. She'd be lonely. So I went on and unboxed my uh, Orphan Black Funkos. Now, when I get. Um, there's supposed to be an exclusive, uh, Helena coming out, and there's already an exclusive Rachel. So, if, uh, I get them, I'm still gonna have to find another place for Charlie. But, for the time being, she's surrounded by hot-looking females, which I'm sure Charlie would, uh, appreciate very much. So, let's start with Helena, who is the only one... That doesn't have a um, stand, and she stands okay. I mean, I've not, I don't have a problem with her. I know some people online have said that they uh, have a problem with her tilting back. I think uh, I don't have a problem with her. She's fairly heavy. Um, her hair is her he her head's solid, and I don't know why that is. Um, the others, as I can see, all have uh, all have the standard, you know, bottle cap neck. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but it looks like the bottom of a bottle cap, and then with a hole in it, and the neck sticks through. Um, but she is a solid pop, kind of like Charlie. Charlie is a solid pop, but Charlie has a stand. Um, now, Helena is in her wedding dress, covered in blood, um, which... Uh, is from season two, which is good. 
a good uh, representation of her. Um, the dress kind of trails down, so it forms a little bit more of a uh, balance, I guess. Um, she's got the blood all over her face and wearing the eyeliner. She could be wearing a little bit more eyeliner. Um, you can see that her hair isn't exact. Uh, she's a, she's a bottle blonde. She's not a natural blonde, that's for sure. Um, she got her cowboy boots on, which is just kind of funny. Um, there's a production number. Um, so yeah, I like her. Um, kind of weird that they chose her to be different than the rest of them, but we'll see. Um, now. Let's go with her. Let's look at her case real quick. Because I usually take them out of the cases. Um, I like... You know, on the back it's got the six standard pops. Um, including the Rachel Duncan in business suit. But I like that it's got... Each case has a... Each box has a different colored DNA strand. Um, I don't know if you can see... Not really. Yeah, you can see it right here. It goes down long. Um, hers is green. Um, now, this, these are all Hot Topic pre -re exclusive pre-release. Um, Hot Topic got them first. I don't know why Hot Topic gets them all first, but they do. Um, so, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, now, supposedly they're coming out with Felix. Um... I think Brian said that they were working on one. I'm really excited about that. I, frankly, I think the Felix needs to be wearing assless chaps. Um, but I don't know if we'll get that. Um, and I'm not gay. I just... That's Felix. I mean, he's always naked on the show. <laughs> um, not always, but he's been naked in quite a few episodes. Okay, so there's Helena. Up next is the... Special one of the group. And that is, uh, she, uh, okay, so that is, uh, Sarah Manning. It's sad that I don't know which one's which. Their names are, uh, uh confuse me at times. Okay, so Sarah is, and, uh, pretty much what we see her as when we first get her, which is, she's got, she's got Alice, or she's got, uh, Beth's pink phone, but she's wearing her leather jacket, and she's got her tote bag, and her hooker boots and stockings. She's got her hair kind of messed up. I guess I should hold her up. Um, she's also got eyeliner. Um, looks looks really great. She's got a stand. Um, let's see if she stands. Let's see if she stands all right, but I'm sure she would tilt. Or she would tip um, if there was any s slight uh, movement of a shelf. Um, she's got the standard Coke bottle neck. Um, which I'm not sure what, you know, if one can be solid, I'm not sure why they can't all be solid, because I don't really care for the Coke bottleneck. Um, but yeah, um, she's got a leather jacket, jacket in her belt. I don't really see any paint screw-ups. Um, the inside back of her hair looks fine. Sometimes that's a little messed up. Um, but she looks great, and her DNA strand, you can see a lot better, is red. And she's pop uh, 201. And I put her in... Her and Helena next to each other because they look... They're the actual twins, and then the rest are... We're born by different ladies. Okay, next we have Rachel Duncan. We'll start from the right there and work. Yeah, right. Okay, now this is the uh, variant Rachel Duncan um, with the pencil on her eye. Um, she's got eyeshadow on her eyelids. Um, so her eyes are half closed. She's holding some sort of uh, blood, vial of blood. It looks like there's a little paint discrepancy down there. Um, let's get her box real quick and look at it. Now, her DNA strand is blue, which makes it hard to see. Eh, you can see it pretty well, I guess. 
Um, now hers says exclusive pre-release too, but I was thinking that hers was going to be the exclusive figure. I must be wrong. Maybe that's the Hel Hel Helena and her um, parka. Um, so yeah, not really much to talk about her. Um, blonde. But I'm sure that, I, I don't know if that's a wig. Because I know when, this season when, when uh, Allison pretended to be her, or Sarah pretended to be her, um, Allison was pretending to be Sarah. Um, they had a wig ready for her. So I don't know if that was something that she actually wears. I don't remember. Um, there's some paint screw ups right there, and of course she's missing a spot on the top of her head. But other than that, she looks good. Um, she's my least favorite, and I almost didn't get her. But I'm kind of a it's a favorite show of mine, and I kind of had to have it all. Um, except I don't know if I'm gonna buy the regular release. Uh. Rachel? Okay, next we have Allison. Now, I love Allison on the show. If you don't watch the show, Allison, when introduced, is the typical soccer mom. Um, she's, you know, very uppity and uptight and, you know, and she quickly becomes a fan favorite, I guess. Um, she's got a bunch of fun one-liners. She forms a quick bond with Felix, um, which is just a blast uh, to see their characters interact. Um, so, yeah. Um, she's in her soccer mom uniform. She's got her, I don't know if that's her whistle, it's supposed to be a whistle around her neck. Not. Um, but she's got her, uh, little sweater vest thingy and her pink shirt and her little mom shoes and pants. She's got her hair in a ponytail and she's got her hair hair whatever that's called that you ladies wear. I guess it's a hair band because it goes all the way around. It's not a hair uh, it's not a what do they call those? The plastic ones, you know, it just is it a hair band too, but even though it doesn't go all the way around. So yeah, there's Allison. Um, she too comes with a stand. Um, but yeah, she's a favorite on the show. Um, she looks really good. This, I mean, this is the exact outfit I wanted her to be in when she, when, the, before they announced, or before they released pictures, glams, I guess they're called. Okay, now we go to Cosima. Um, I love Cosima. Um, all the hairs are different on the, on, on, on the characters. It's one of the things that, um, makes them stand out. Now she's got a book in one hand, got the other hand in her lab coat pocket. Um, she's got her glasses on, she's got her kind of corn, her cornrows, um, and her ponytail cornrows. Um, one thing I love about the glasses, and I don't know if this is something that's been going on for a while. I know my Clay Morrow and my Walter White. Well, Walter White has has uh, lenses on his glasses, but he is wearing dark glasses. Or no, my my Heisenberg does. Walter White has... That's it. Okay, so my Walter White has just glasses with holes in them. My Heisenberg and Claymore both have shades, so they have dark lenses over their eyes. He, or she has lenses. When I first took her out of the package, I thought, oh, there's something wrong with her, her face behind her glasses. And then I realized, no, she's just wearing, um, she's just wearing, uh, glasses. I mean, she's just actually got glass on her, over her eyes. And there, was there someone else that had something like that? I don't remember. I thought I unboxed someone and they had something like that. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Cole, 
Coulson's kind of got that. But so <laughs> I guess it's something they've done for a while. I've just never seen clear shades. You can see the glint of them. Um, she also comes with stand. I'm gonna show you Allison's box. Um, dirty. Uh, Allison's uh, DNA strand is pink, which is just perfect for her. And then Cosima's is purple. Cosima Nyehaus, I guess is how you say it. N i e h a u s. I'm sure she said it on the show, but now on the box it shows she's kind of wearing like a monotone outfit underneath, but she's wearing more of, you can obviously tell her, tell she's wearing a uh, top and a bottom instead of just like a jumpsuit underneath. She is 203 um, in the pops, um, and I don't know why. They jump from 205 to 218 between their angels. Probably because the the pencil in the eye ratio is a um, exclusive. Um, but yeah, so there's my Funko Orphan Black set. I really am happy with them. I'm glad to finally have them out of the box and onto the shelf. Um, I'm thinking of making some uh, custom shelves to put in my windows and just block off my windows and they'll probably go in there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I got, uh, I traded with a buddy of mine. I got an extra Herschel the other day and I got, um, Abraham Ford, um, mystery mini. I'm really hoping they come out with a new line of walking dead pops soon. Oh, and then I knock Carol off, and I knock Carol down. Carol doesn't stand very well. She should have had a stand. Maggie stands okay, but Carol, not so much. I almost wish stands would be uh, standard pops now, especially for the females who don't stand very well because they have ten. Okay, there we go. That's good for now. Okay, so that's the show. Um, sorry, I kind of held him down, I know. Um, you didn't get to see... I don't know if you got to see him very well. But I'm a big fan of the show. If you don't watch it, check it out. Um, if you have Comcast, all three seasons are on demand. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, have a good day. Time to eat lunch. Well, time for me to eat lunch. Bye.